I need to speak. <laughs> Welcome back to Kicking Your Keto. I'm Tamsin. I'm B. And I'm Kim. Let's <laughs> <laughs> redo that one. <laughs> Welcome back to Kicking Your Keto. I'm Tamsin. I'm B. And I'm Kim. Today we're going to enjoy the amazing treats from B's Kitchen. I'm excited! We've got a bit of sweet and savory, so dig in. Can we please start with these cookies? Because oh. they look so good, I okay. just need to try one. So can you tell me what these cookies are though? Um, these are pecan butternut cookies and they're made with a bit of gelatin to make them a little crunchier. Just smell that. That's a pretty unique trick. Yeah, yeah. I read about it online and gave it a go. Um, so if they come straight out of the fridge, then they get quite crispy. Mmm, that is so good. Mm. Oh my word. This it's, almost makes me think of pecan pie, but mm. like better. It's just full of butter. It's got that same like little gooey in the middle like pecan pie. Oh, mm. it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> okay, we have to just stop while we eat. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good, B. This is the perfect accompaniment to coffee. Mm. Mm. I just find that things made with almond flour and butter taste better with coffee. I've been dying to try your stuff for so long. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was worth the wait. <laughs> mm. That is one of the best cookies I've ever eaten in my life. Oh, thank you. It just has a bit of crunchiness as well. Mm. I think the crunch with cookies is something that you do miss sometimes yeah. with keto baking. Yeah. Like, even those peanut butter cookies, I really love them, but mm. sometimes they're just a little bit too soft, so you don't quite yeah, get that same. Yeah. These are perfect. They are so good. So, B, you're based in Durban. In Durban, North, yeah. Okay, and these are some delicious boxes that we can all like people can order from you, right? Yes, so I love the idea of grazing and being prepared when you go out. So I pack, yes. used to pack myself a little grazing box when I need, knew that I was going to be uh, away from home or out of the office and they weren't going to be catering for someone that's off sugar, off gluten. So I always had a variety of sweet and savory okay. things and I love pies. Mm. So, this looks so amazing. <laughs> you know, that's actually such a good idea though, because I think a lot of times, you know, you go to events or you go to people's houses for a tea or something, and it's very seldom that you find people that actually cater for keto or to find stuff that doesn't have a pastry on it. Or yes. A, you know, it's not always so easy. So, packing a little something something in your handbag is a really, really yeah. great idea. But also, now that we're addicted, can we get these in Jobo? Yes, you can. <laughs> You can. Um, so we ship on uh, every once a week on a Thursday every week um, to Joburg and it's delivered within 24 hours. So it okay, leaves awesome. Durban at 2 on a Thursday and it arrives before lunchtime on a Friday. That's perfect for the weekend. Yes, so you need your treats and uh, preparing for a weekend is one of the things I had to learn to do early on when I started mm. low carving as well because that's when you are out or you with people are eating nice things and you also want to. Yeah. having it on, yeah. on hand. And especially like living in a house, like I know for me, I live in a house where I'm the only one doing keto. Yes. For most people that is the case. Yes. Especially then. And it's nice to open up a little cake box with little bits of sweet and savory things. Mm. You feel like you're having a high tea all the time. <laughs> and this is how you make it a lifestyle because that is the biggest struggle I see with my clients is that they struggle over the weekends when they're at social events. So yes. if you can take your own little goodies with and enjoy, then you don't have to feel deprived in any way. And touching on that as well, Kim, like I know you and I, before we, we actually took our health journey seriously, yeah. we were both those sort of quintessential yo-yo dieters. Mm. So if there's a diet out there that can we be done, it. <laughs> we've we done, done it. We've done all of it. Same we've done it. And a big change that I found from moving from like a calorie counting diet where I was eating six meals a day and working out for like crazy hours yeah. Yeah. every day to try and drop the weight. Look, it worked. 100% it worked. I saw amazing results. 
But there's a different mentality with that where there's like that whole 80-20 rule mm, thing. Yeah. So you would be really, really good in the week yes. and eat all the right things or whatever and then get to the weekend and that was when you'd find that now it's okay to have a cheat day mm -hmm. or this or that. Um, and that's also like when you in a situation like me and I know you struggled with this as well where you are emotional eaters Yes, that's where it becomes difficult for us to sustain that lifestyle. Absolutely. So like with keto What I do love especially now that you can get so many products that are yep. available and there's these amazing people like you <laughs> <laughs> That you can order the stuff from you can have I mean look at all this beautiful selection You can have everything that you want without it being a cheat. It can and just be part of Day you lifestyle. don't want to have those cheat days because this lifestyle is about being healthy yeah. and that inflammation is going to sit with you and it compounds over time so for me personally I don't want that stuff in my body anymore so having things like this just it's life-changing mm -hmm. yeah so do you want to speak us through what you brought us today yes. okay Let's I shall things. for the savory side we've got little chicken and mushroom pies and we've got some sausage rolls and I brought you a sampler of that methi um, cake which is the sweet and savory and a little bit of chili mm -hmm. and fenugreek in there that sounds it looks amazing incredible Please like I can't believe this is all keto it's so, so should amazing. we do a little bit of a tasting please yes. do what do you want to try first Kimmy and then I'll dish up for us should we try the savory first and then go okay. to sweets. I'm actually going to say can you dish up because you're yes. on the side of the room. So I'm super excited to try this one but it does have chili in so should we leave that till last in case it's a little yeah. bit spicy. Okay. And then so let's try the sausage roll first. Alright. Cheers. 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 I just wanted to ask um, though what is the pastry on this? What so that you? is a fat head dough which okay. If you know, if you watched anything I do, you know that it's one of my favorite keto recipes because it's so versatile. So I use it for sausage rolls, for the pies, wraps, um, all sorts of things. It's very versatile. Yeah. yeah, and then I've always got a batch of that in the fridge. I can't believe how much it just looks like real pastry. And it looks a lot like pastry <laughs> when you bake it. Okay, let's see. The, the truth is in the tasting. <laughs> that should also be a hashtag. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my word. <laughs> is it so amazing? That pastry is so buttery and it's it's really like eating real pastry. Yeah. Try it. I can't, wait to try. <laughs> I can't believe we've been doing keto for so mm. long and we don't we haven't had fat head. That though. is incredible. It's, it's a great uh, substitute for especially when you're doing something mm. like a pie or um, or a sausage roll. This is way better than a normal sausage roll. <laughs> way better. It gives you all the sausage roll vibes, mm. I find. Mm. There's a heartburn included. Mm. No, no heartburn. No heartburn. Mm -mm. It's mm. all the, the deliciousness of pastry without the the like after effects. Because <laughs> also, like I just look at normal pastry and I have mm. heartburn. The same. Mm. Whole lot of flour. Mm. And they are more filling than mm. normal pastries as well. So I eat a pie, a normal pie, that I'll burn through that in about an hour and have that like deep hunger madness again. Mm. Can we just pause for a second? I oh. just wanna you've got like a crumb in your hair. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what is this one? So that is a mini chicken and mushroom pie. This is always in my grazing box. And the filling is literally just cream, chicken, mushrooms, lots oh, of seasoning, all the good stuff. herbs. Yeah. So with your grazing boxes, do you do like a specific one each week? Um, yeah, so we do, we do a sweet and savory grazing box. So you can either have a whole lot of different mini sweets, bites of sweets, or the same with savory, or you can combine them. And then we're doing bento boxes, which are oh, wow. actual... That's so cool! Yeah, so those are actual lunches. So you all may get a pie, but you're basically getting two small meals and two snacks and a dessert. That's um, so awesome! And I deliver them to folks while they're at work, so they get to get their nice fresh keto lunch in a nice little oh, compartment so like box. And it I'm feels like you're having... I think we need to move to Durban. <laughs> <laughs> right? Come to Durban! <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Mmm, that is really good. It is just, I mean, 
It's full of cream and butter, mm. seasoning and mushrooms. Honestly, I feel like if you had to give I'm this the whole thing. <laughs> this chicken and mushroom pie to a person who is not on keto and you didn't tell them that this was fat head dough, they wouldn't know the difference. Mm. I punk people all the time. They with think pies. it was the most amazing pie. When it's come out straight the oven, it's still it's still nice and and brown and stuff, but mm. they cannot tell the difference. And I found that a lot with, definitely with keto food and low carb food, the reason why you enjoy it so much is because it's got all those good fats, like it's cooked with mm -hmm. butter and it's made with cream and it's proper satisfying flavors. Um, and it just makes it feel like so much more satisfying when you eat. Like this honestly feels like the most decadent chicken and mushroom mini pie I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's really nice about this dough as well? That it, like there's no flakiness. I'm not yeah, lying. No, it's not gonna, a million You can even eat this while you're driving. Yes. You totally <laughs> can. I, you joke about that. My ex never used to let me eat pies in his car. Because of the flakiness. Cool, so should we try the last one? Yes, so this is the... So that is, it's um, technical, traditional name is Methi Lagan. So it's my play on that because that is a cake made with flour and gram flour and it's, it's very high in carbs. Okay. And so it's sweet and it's savory. It's the... Well, that sounds good. It's got a bit of cheese in it, a little bit of corn in it, very little, and fenugreek, the herb and a little bit of chili. What is the origin of this dish? Like so it's um, it's part of traditional Gujarati cooking. Okay. And in Gujarati cooking, fenugreek, the herb, and green chilies are a very common combination. And sweet and savory food is very common in our it's traditional food as well. Combos. Yeah, so you'll often find a sweet dish with chili in it. Okay. Um, and things that like that. That sounds amazing Yeah. <laughs> So I'm trying to find as many low carb versions of traditional um, yes. Gujarati foods as I can. Do you know, and I think that's the key to making keto sustainable, is taking the foods that you already love yes. and enjoy and making a keto version. 100%. Yeah. Don't try and, like you do with a traditional diet, suddenly stick to eating these meals that you never eat and you don't mm. really enjoy because yeah. it's not sustainable. Well, that's the thing is you have to eat what you enjoy and I think, sorry, that's also the thing on like when you're on super strict diets sometimes you end up eating the same meal all the time because you find only one thing that you like whereas yeah. with this you can have a variety of things yes yeah. you're not eating steamed chicken and broccoli day in and day out <laughs> no I, exactly <laughs> i would never i'd never be able to <laughs> five times a day no <laughs> oh apparently me <laughs> that is like i don't know if it's cake <laughs> or if it's like that is like wow wow it's other yeah and it's it other. is and it's not too chilly no it's just slightly spicy yeah. which is perfect i'm not weird that's crazy like i don't even know how to describe like it. your brain is like <laughs> what 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 that is so good <laughs> Wow. So that, that fenugreek has a bit of bitterness, but it's also a sweet, it mm. would be a sweet herb. So it kind of plays nicely with sweet The flavors are so flavors. cool. I think if people are ordering your box, they <laughs> have to get this. Yes. Like, regardless of what else they order, it, like this has to go in the box. This is now on the menu every week. It was like a mini protest two weeks ago when I had a different cake on. <laughs> so I can tell why. <laughs> I would protest if you sent me a box with this in. Yeah, so you just tasted something close to traditional Gujarati food as well. The texture of this is also so amazing. Mm. But that's another wonderful thing I find about keto baked goods. Things that are made with almond flour and butter and whole eggs, they last a lot longer mm. in the mm. fridge and their texture only improves. Like keto brownies will be better three days after you've made okay. them. And you've had them in the fridge. Mine so. never last that long. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I make so many. But I do think Tams and I have pinpointed your secret ingredients. Yeah, it's for sure that you cook this stuff with love. You can taste it. You Thanks can taste guys. it. You love what you do. And you love sharing your amazing cooking talent with the world. And Thank you. Anybody should definitely try one of your keto boxes. Let us know which of these treats you'd most like to try in the comments.